The Indian government has launched several digital initiatives to promote digital literacy, e-governance, and digital infrastructure development. Here are some of the major digital initiatives launched by the Indian government. UK. The University Grants Commission UK, came into existence on 28 December 1953 became a statutory organization of the Government of India by an Act of Parliament in 1956. It was established for the coordination, determination, and maintenance of standards of university education in India. In order to ensure effective region-wise coverage throughout the country, the UK has decentralized its operations by setting up six regional centers at Pune, Hyderabad, Kolkata, Bhopal, Guwahati, and Bangalore. Gianbani Gianbani, GV, was conceived in 2001 as a network of educational FM radio channels. Gianbani operating from various cities in the country to enhance and supplement the teaching learning process suited to the educational developmental and socio-cultural needs of the local community. The term Gian stands for knowledge and Bani stands for aerial broadcasting. Gian Bani stations offer day-to-day -day programs contributed by different educational institutions, and goes and national-level institutions like IGNU, CERT, UK. IIT, etc. Each station has a range of about 60 km radius, covering the entire city slash town plus the surrounding environs with extensive access. Gianbani's main intention is to take education to the doorsteps of the people. It also deals with awareness programs including the ones for Panchayat Raj functionaries, women empowerment, consumer rights, human rights, the rights of the child, health education, teacher education, non-formal education, adult education, education for the handicapped, education for the downtrodden, education for the tribal and so on. Jian Darshan Launched by the MHRD, Information and AMP, Broadcasting, the Praiser Bharti and New jointly on 26 of January 2000. It is a 24-hour transmission channel for educational programs which covers a variety of subjects and catering to a wide range of viewers. Jiandara It is an internet audio counseling service offered by IGNU. Where the students can listen to the live discussions by the teachers and experts on the topic of the day and interact with them through telephone, email, and also chat mode. John Global Initiative of Academic Networks, John in Higher Education, which is an initiative by MHRD, was launched in 2015. It aims at improving the quality of higher education and elevating India's scientific and technological capacity to global excellence through international collaboration. E. Pachala It is a joint initiative of the Ministry of Human Resource Development, MHRD, Government of India, and National Council of Educational Research and Training, CERT. It is developed for showcasing and disseminating all educational e-resources. It includes textbooks, audio, video, periodicals, and a variety of other digital resources. Pachala mobile app is designed to achieve the sustainable development goals as well i.e. Equitable, quality, inclusive education, and lifelong learning for all and bridging the digital divide. It is a portal app developed by Syat, CERT, and can be accessed on the web and is available on Google Play, App Store, and Windows. The content is available in English, Hindi, and Urdu. Students, teachers, educators, and parents can access ebooks through multiple technology platforms like mobile phones and tablets, as ePub, and from the web portal through laptops and desktops. Features of these books allow users to pinch, select, zoom, bookmark, highlight, navigate, 
Share, listen to text using text to Speech, TTS, apps, and make notes digitally. Saranch It is developed by CBSE and is successfully launched by HRD Minister Smriti Zubin Irani in National Conference on ICT in School Education held on November 7, 2015, at Bigyan Bowen. It helps schools and parents to review students' performance in various subjects. Analysis based on data empowers schools and parents to make the best decision for students. It helps the school to look at performance in scholastic areas at an aggregate level and at the level of each student. Facilitates interaction between parents and schools so that they can monitor the progress of students and help them improve their performance. All the performance metrics are presented through numbers as well as in chart slash graphs for easy understanding. Sala CD The National Program on School Standards and Evaluation, NS, known as Sala CD. It is developed by the National University of Educational Planning and Administration, NUEPA. It is a comprehensive instrument for school evaluation leading to school improvement. It aims to evaluate the individual school and its performance in a holistic and continuous manner leading to school improvement in an incremental manner. Its major objective is to develop a technically sound conceptual framework, methodology, instrument, and process of school evaluation to suit the diversity of Indian schools. Study Webs of Active, Learning for Young Aspiring Minds, SWAM. It is a program initiated by the Government of India and designed to achieve the three cardinal principles of education policy viz. access, equity and quality. The objective is to take the best teaching learning resources to all, including the most disadvantaged. It seeks to bridge the digital divide for students who have previously remained untouched by the digital revolution and have not been able to join the mainstream of the knowledge economy. The courses hosted on SWAM are in four quadrants, such as video lectures, specially prepared reading material that can be downloaded slash printed, self-assessment tests through tests and quizzes, and an online discussion forum for clearing the doubts. The learning experience has been enriched by using audio video and multimedia and state-of-the-art pedagogy slash technology. To ensure best quality content are produced and delivered, seven national coordinators have been appointed. They are Intel for Engineering, UK for Post-Graduation Education, SEC for Undergraduate Education. Insert and AMP, NEOs for School Education, IGNU for Out of the School Students and for Management Studies. Courses delivered through SWAM are interactive, prepared by the best teachers in the country and are available free of cost to the learners. However, learners wanting a SWAM certificate should register for the final exams that come at a fee and attend in person at designated centers on specified dates. SWAM Prabha It is an initiative by MHRD to provide education by the medium of television channels. It is a group of 34 DTH channels devoted to telecasting of high-quality educational programs on a 24 times 7 basis using the XAT-15 satellite. Every day, it telecasts new content for at least 4 hours which is repeated 5 more times in a day, allowing the students to choose the time of their convenience. All the channels are uplinked from Baisag, Gandhinagar. The contents are provided by Intel, ETS, UK, SEC, IGNU, ZERT, and NEOS. The InflibNet Center maintains the web portal. Indira Gandhi National Open University, IGNU. IGNU was founded to serve the Indian population by means of distance and open education, providing quality higher education opportunities to all segments of society. It also aims to encourage, coordinate and set standards for distance and open education in India, and to strengthen the Humar resources of India through education. 
Apart from teaching and research, extension and training form the mainstay of its academic activities. It also acts as a national resource center and serves to promote and maintain standards of distance education in India. Jan Darshan GD Channel is a major milestone in the field of educational television in India. It is a joint venture of the Ministry of Human Resource Development, MHRD, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, INB Ministry, Prazer Bharati, and IGNU serving as the nodal agency. Launched in the year 2000, GD is a 24-hour educational channel that offers the best educational programs covering a variety of subjects and catering to a wide range of viewers. IGNU was entrusted with the responsibility of National Coordinator for Five Channels of Swayam Prabha, the DTH Channel Initiative of the Government of India. CBSE Central Board of Secondary Education, CBSE was constituted in the year 1962 to define appropriate approaches of academic activities to provide stress-free, child-centered and holistic education to all children without compromising on quality. To analyze and monitor the quality of academic activities by collecting the feedback from different stakeholders. To develop norms for implementation of various academic activities including quality issues. National Council for Teacher Education NIT. The National Council for Teacher Education NIT, as a statutory body came into existence in pursuance of the National Council for Teacher Education Act, 1993 on the 17th of August 1995. The main objective of the NIT is to achieve planned and coordinated development of the teacher education system throughout the country. National Institute of Technical Teachers Training and Research, NITR. National Institute of Technical Teachers Training and Research, Chennai, or NITR, is an autonomous educational institution. Under the Ministry of Education, MO, formerly Ministry of Human Resource Development or MHRD. Government of India. Four National Institutes of Technical Teachers Training and Research, NICHs, are located at Bhopal, Chandigarh, Chennai, and Kolkata. NITR Chennai is one of the national coordinator for the Swayam MOOC project of MHRD. NITR Chennai is coordinating online courses for the teachers' training program. NITR was established in the mid-1960s for the training of polytechnic teachers to undertake activities in the areas of education, planning and management. Curriculum development for implementation and research, etc. for the overall improvement of polytechnic education. The institutes offer long-term training programs of 12-18 months duration to degree and diploma level teachers of polytechnic in addition to providing short-term training courses. Designing of curriculum and providing consultancy services to the industry. DigiLocker Digital Locker is one of the key initiatives of the Ministry of Electronics and it, MIADI, under the Digital India program. It is aimed at minimizing the usage of physical documents and enable sharing of e-documents across agencies. The citizens can access their documents anytime and anywhere irrespective of their physical location. It is also aimed at the concept of paperless governance by reducing the administrative overhead by minimizing the use of paper and curtailing the verification process. It also ensures the authenticity of the e-documents and thereby eliminate the usage of fake documents. National Mission on Education through Information and Communication Technology, MIECT 
It has been envisaged as a centrally sponsored scheme to leverage the potential of ICT in the teaching and learning process for the benefit of all the learners in higher education institutions. This was expected to be a major intervention in enhancing the gross enrollment ratio, GAIR, in higher education by 5 percentage points during the 11th five-year plan period. The three cardinal principles of education policy viz, access, equity, and quality could be served well by providing connectivity to all colleges and universities. Providing low-cost and affordable access come computing devices to students and teachers, and providing high-quality e-content free of cost to all learners in the country. It seeks to bridge the digital divide, i.e. the gap in the skills to use computing devices. For the purpose of teaching and learning among urban and rural teachers slash learners in the higher education domain. It seeks to empower those who have so far remained untouched by the digital revolution and have not been able to join the mainstream of the knowledge economy. It plans to focus on appropriate pedagogy for e-learning, providing the facility of performing experiments through virtual laboratories, online testing and certification. Online availability of teachers to guide and mentor learners, utilization available education satellite, EDUSAT. And direct to home platforms, training, and empowerment of teachers to effectively use the new method of teaching learning, etc. Unified Mobile Application for New Age Governance, Umang. It is developed by the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, MIADI, and National E-Governance Division, NAGD, to drive mobile governance in India. It enables users to access all government services through a single mobile interface. Umang provides a single platform for all Indian citizens to access pan-India e-gov services ranging from central to local government bodies and other citizen-centric services. BART Interface for Money, BIM It is a payment app that lets you make simple, easy, and quick transactions using Unified Payments Interface, UPI. Unified Payments Interface, UPI, is an instant payment system developed by the National Payments Corporation of India, NC, and re regulated entity. UPI allows one to instantly transfer money between any two parties' bank accounts. It led to the development of the BIM by the National Payments Corporation of India, NC. BIM is a mobile payment application that can be used by anyone who has a bank account with a linked mobile number and was launched by the Prime Minister Narendra Modi on December 30, 2016. IBIS Ministry of Commerce and Industry, in 2013, announced to launch IBIS. India's first government to business, G2B, portal. IBIS is being implemented by Infosys Technologies Limited, Infosys. Under the guidance of the Department of Industrial Policy and Promotion, DIP, Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Government of India. The focus of IBIS is to improve the business environment in the country by enabling fast and efficient access to government to business, G2B, services through an online portal. This aims at reducing the points of contact between business entities and government agencies in various regulatory processes required to start and run businesses. Digital India Launched in 2015, Digital India is a flagship initiative of the government aimed at transforming India into a digitally empowered society and knowledge economy. The initiative focuses on the development of digital infrastructure, digital literacy, and e-governance. Paratnet Launched in 2017, 
Paratnet aims to connect all 2.5 lakh gram panchayats, village councils, in India with high-speed broadband internet. The initiative aims to bridge the digital divide between urban and rural India. MyGov MyGov is a citizen engagement platform launched by the Indian government to promote citizen participation in governance. The platform allows citizens to share their ideas, suggestions, and feedback on government policies and programs. Enam Launched in 2016, Enam is an online trading platform for agricultural produce in India. The platform enables farmers to sell their produce online and connect with buyers from across the country. National Scholarship Portal The National Scholarship Portal is an online portal launched by the Indian government to provide scholarships to students. The portal offers a single window platform for students to apply for various scholarships offered by the central and state governments. In addition to the digital initiatives mentioned earlier, here are some of the major educational initiatives launched by the Indian government. Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan, SA, SA is a flagship program launched by the Indian government to achieve universal elementary education in the country. The program aims to provide free and compulsory education to all children between the ages of 6 and 14 years. Rashtriya Madhyamik Shiksha Abhiyan Rumsa, Rumsa is a program launched by the Indian government to promote secondary education in the country. The program aims to increase the enrollment ratio in secondary education and improve the quality of education. Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yoyana, Pumfi, Pumfi is a program launched by the Indian government to provide skill training to youth across the country. The program aims to impart industry-relevant skills to youth and improve their employability. National Skill Development Corporation, NSDC, NSDC is a public-private partnership launched by the Indian government to promote skill development in the country. The corporation aims to facilitate the development and upgrading of skills in various sectors through training programs and partnerships with industries. Atal Innovation Mission, AIM, AIM is a program launched by the Indian government to promote innovation and entrepreneurship among students. The program aims to create a culture of innovation in the country and encourage students to develop innovative solutions to social and economic problems. National Digital Literacy Mission, NDLM, NDLM is a program launched by the Indian government to promote digital literacy in the country. The program aims to provide basic digital literacy to at least one person in every household across the country. Midday Meal Scheme, MDMS, MDMS is a program launched by the Indian government to provide nutritious meals to children in government schools. The program aims to improve the nutritional status of children and promote enrollment and attendance in schools.